Hi, my name is Zeb Pasquale. I'm a registered nurse working with 24-hour home care. We are here in Goodwill, Long Beach, and I'm going to show you how to turn a patient. So turning is very important to uh, the bedside because when a patient is laying down in the same position for a very long time, there's risk of them developing what's called decubitus ulcers. And those are simply pressure wounds that result from laying in the same position for, for a long time. So the first step is to always assess the patient, uh, let them know who you are and what you're, what you're intending to perform. How's it going today, sir? It's going well. Uh, my name is Zeb, I'm gonna help turn you, okay? Okay. Okay, so you've, inform you've assessed them, you've informed them what you're going to do. So the first step with turning is to lower the guardrails uh, on, on both sides. You wanna lower the guardrails on both sides because turning may or may not require you to be on both sides. The patient is assessed, the bed is set for your advantage mechanically and lifting wise. What I wanna make sure is, is that they are, they are square in the center of the bed and that they are on top of linens. The linens are your best friend in turning. So the reason you're even turning them in the first place is because they can't necessarily turn themselves. So that being said, you have to, you have to exercise some manipulation and, and some uh, pressure on their shoulders and hips. Those are the major joints that will help you move them. That being the case, even though they cannot turn themselves, just psychologically, they have lost control of their own, of their own body in a sense, and you are, they are trusting you and you are taking on that control yourself. There is a, there is a disconnect between a sense of self and identity and you therefore have to, you have to mitigate that and let them know that they're, you still see them as a human. They're not, they're not a thing. You're not just shoving them around. So first thing I'm gonna do, sir, I'm gonna take a pillow. And the pillows are important for comfort and for support. So I'm gonna turn you towards your left, okay? So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna put my hand under the small of his back. I'm always observing good lifting mechanics. And I'm going to push his shoulder up and stuff the pillow under here. He's good. So now he's kind of turned and I've got this other pillow and I'm just gonna lift his legs like this. So he's comfortable, he's relatively, he's relatively on, al he's almost done turning. So at this point, he's kind of on the other side of the bed. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the linens from underneath and sir, I'm just gonna pull the linen so that you're closer to the center of the bed, okay? One, two, three, and as I pull, he naturally turns, and he's now relatively on the center of the bed. I am confident that he's now, I can remove the pillow and he's no, he no longer needs it for support. And at this point, I would want to straighten it out, make sure that he's comfortable, and I see that his head is a little off the pillow, so sir, I'm just gonna raise your head a little bit, and there you go. And can you just shift over towards me a little bit? Good. So now the patient is fully turned. I'm comfortable. He's comfortable. I'm going to raise the raise the rails again. And that is how you turn a patient. For more information, please visit www.24hrcares.com.